We are live from Howe Lanes near the Jersey Shore, and this is the Northeast Conference Women's Bowling Tournament on NEC Front Row. Today it's the qualifying rounds of the best of seven Baker format. Maybe lose focus a little bit, but she still needs eight pins, and on a difficult lane condition like this, it's easy to slide by that head pin. The swing ball of the match, and she's got it! Four pins to tie, five pins to win it for Emma Catone. It would lock out, see, Francis' victory. That does it. So St. Francis of Brooklyn knocks off Fairleigh Dickinson four games to one. And that does it. So Duquesne knocks off Fairleigh Dickinson in game number one of this best of seven. Amanda Shanofsky. Let's watch her hand action, Paul, as she releases the ball. Watch her hand rotate around the side of the ball. Look at that spin. Right in the pocket. And Fairley's going to send Amanda Schilling, a senior out of nearby Jackson, New Jersey, to shoot the last throw. And that'll do it. The Duquesne Dukes knock off Fairley Dickinson, four to two. Megan Kuhn for the Terriers in frame two off of the open in the first. And again, another nasty one to have to try to convert. Another washout of one, two, 10. Kirkpatrick had the spare in the first frame for the Dukes and they get another break here with Allison Horesco. Here's Emma Catone off of a double in the third and fourth. And she gets a lucky break in the fifth. That's a triple, 47 through three, with two strikes up for the Terriers. The winner takes on top-seeded Sacred Heart tomorrow morning at 8.40. The loser is done for the tournament. Sarah Kirkpatrick start things off in emphatic fashion with a Brooklyn. So Taylor Smith disappointed that she comes back after an open in the third that leaves the Terriers with 44. Wow. Outstanding make by Ellison Horesco in the second frame. St. Francis of Brooklyn leads the match three to one. So this ball could in fact send the Terriers into the next round. Perfect. That's a great shot. We are tied at 174. And the match ends in a draw. She needs to make this spare and get seven pins on the fill ball for the win. Did not get it. We will go to another game. Three and a half to two and a half as Duquesne beat St. Francis of Brooklyn 185 to 178. Emma Catone to advance the Terriers into tomorrow's bracket. And she does in fact have the strike ball in her hand. That'll do it. An emphatic strike for the Terriers who have won the match. Four and a half to two and a half. Farwell takes care of business herself, but it's a 158 to 152 victory for St. Francis of Brooklyn. Congratulations as they advance into tomorrow's championship bracket. They will take on top-seeded Sacred Heart beginning at 8.40 tomorrow.